for example, this phrase here, I can grab this and bring it back and it won't affect the rest of this here. What's up guys, it's Unders. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how we can quantize a vocal that we've got. Maybe the timing's a little bit off. Uh, we can't just slice that up and we need to still feel natural. Logic provides us with some great tools to still be able to do that and keep it sounding natural, as well as if you want, do some insane flex pitching and pitch correction to it while we're there. I'll show you some of the tools we can use, but have a little play around with it. Let's jump into Logic. And a big thanks to the channel sponsor, DistroKid. DistroKid is a music distribution service and the best way to get your music out to all of the modern streaming services fast, efficiently, and within an independent artist's budget. Check out the description below for a discount today. All right, guys, so we are in Logic. And uh, well, this is the project that I've got up. Uh, we've got a little vocal stack here. So this is, this is the loop section we're gonna be looking at. All right, and what we're gonna look at doing is just uh, changing some of the timing here. Now, I think it sounds great, to be honest. I don't think any of it really needs too much correction, if any at all. I thought it was a good track to show you how to do it. So if we have a look at here, for example, um, it starts pretty good, right? But it is a little bit loose for the most part, and if you wanted it to start sort of bang on the timing. So let's just try and uh, tighten that up a bit. There's a couple of things that we need to make sure we got switched on. So we're gonna select this channel just here. Uh, and up here, we've got our flex pitch control. We just need to make sure that's switched on. Command and F will bring that on for us. Just while we've got this selected, if we tap E, it's going to uh, also bring up the channel for us. And we need to make sure again it's switched on here. Sometimes it will still be switched off. And at the moment, we're on flex time monophonic. That's going to be fine for this particular recording. However, if you've got a stereo vocal recorder or something like that, you might need to switch it over to be a monophonic, to be polyphonic. Um, it really, it really applies to having multiple notes. However, if you've got some slight differences between left and right, monophonic might struggle with it. Among the options, slicing is not gonna to work too well for a vocal unless you've got some clear spacing that you can use. And in this case, all the notes kind of go into one another. So we wanna be able to do that stretching. So what we're gonna do here is to try and correct the time is well, we're basically gonna add in some stretch point, which allows us to do that. So I've just triggered to turn on a flex and we're gonna just turn it on here. And as we can see, it's now given us a, a load of lines essentially at key points. And you can see they're kind of at the, the pivotal moments of where the, the audio is gonna be. And you can see what I was saying about where it's, it feels fine, but it is slightly off in places. I think it sounds great, but we could try try correcting it and see how it goes. So the way we do that, we're going to go over to one of these lines and we can just drag it and it's going to work with our, our snap settings and it will snap bang onto the grid and that transient just there, you know, we could just snap it in ever so slightly. And we could even bring, say, this phrase back onto this point here. Now, if we haven't manipulated the slightly duller lines between the two, it will move everything in between them together. However, if we have, it will stretch between those two points. So for example, this phrase here, I can grab this and bring it back and it won't affect the rest of this here. It will just snap it all in to one point. So now we've got the main three phrases here all bang on. We're just gonna mute the underlying vocal. They now line up exactly with the MIDI notes, which is quite nice, right? Oh no. Now, maybe I want the fade away to drop exactly on this bar. Well, we're not gonna manipulate any of this section because we wanna bring the whole thing just back in time. So we're just gonna do that. This one, this one. All right, so we've now got that whole bit perfectly lined up as well. This one, babe, this one, babe. Now it starts exactly on, there's no kind of lead into it. Now the rest of this doesn't really have any key transient moments that would affect it right up until we get to here. Perhaps we don't wanna have this start right on this point here. Well, this is a good example because it hasn't got the point exactly where we would want it, right? So what we can do, is just move slightly off it. We get the plus here, we can add one in and now we can bring that to start exactly on that phrase there. Let's just test that out and see how we are. There you go guys, that is how we can quantize the timing of a vocal, keep it sounding natural, and uh, well, just manipulate it as much as we want. Now you can also do this by switching over to your flex pitch instead of monophonic, but that guys is for a whole nother time, and I look forward to seeing you in that video.